So I'm installing this Keeney manufacturing timeout valve. It's for your washing machine. And what it does is it cuts off the water pressure after you're done washing the clothes. The way it works is it's all mechanical. There's no electrical or anything. But you push this over to the on position and you have two and a half hours of open time where there's going to be water pressure to the line so you can wash your clothes whatever and then after those two and a half hours it automatically shuts off so there's no water pressure on your lines the hoses go into your washing machine typically always have pressure on them unless you have um, valves that you can close or something like this sometimes those hoses break and that's the reason why some people get water in their house those hoses break and then you have city water pressure flooding your house What's nice about this is if those hoses ever break, well, it'll only run for a maximum of two and a half hours. So it's a safety device. That way you don't flood your house. So it is hard to find a box that will fit all of these. This one I got from Menards, it's IPS brand. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. Um, I also got the optional hammer stops. They cost extra, but with a fast acting valve like this that shuts off the water, this prevents any knocking of the pipes and stuff like that. So I opted to get them. And what's nice about them, too, is you can kind of rotate them if there's not room. Like with my application, I'm going to have to swing them back like that so they're kind of out of the way. That way, when it's in there, I can still get my hose in for the washing machine and we'll be, uh, we'll be all set. But as far as how this is put together, you can either thread a connection or you can sweat in a half-inch piece. I think they have PEX connections, too. But that's threads in there like that. And then your water hammer is like that and all of that is held in so that cover pops off like that see it's it's all mechanical and then that screw right there allen screw goes through water hammer like that and then inside of there it connects to that threaded piece okay so that's it that's all that's holding it in there and I recommend threading this connection so that way, if and when this thing ever breaks or fails, you can disconnect it and not have to open up your wall. So what I just did, maybe backwards for a lot of you, if you don't have if you don't have these in the wall already, these threaded adapters, um, you're gonna need to put these in, and then and then thread all this together in the wall. Because what's gonna what it's gonna go like is this. So my plan was to get all the pipe in place, tighten these up, solder everything, and then then I'm done. But if you've already got these in the wall, if you've already got those in the wall, then you just take all this apart and you put it in in pieces and then you tighten it up and then you're done.
Okay, here it is installed. Obviously, there's no water. Flip it over. There you go. 